Well, good afternoon. Dr. Yaffe and Dr. Heyer pointed out yesterday, nearly 80% of the cases reported over the past few days are from regions now in the red control zone. Across the province in the last week, hospitalizations have increased by 22%. Intensive care unit admissions grew by nearly 50%. We are now teetering on the edge of having to delay scheduled surgeries. In fact, some hospitals like Scarborough Health Network have already had to delay surgeries. My friends, I've been clear on this. The situation is extremely serious. And further action is required to avoid the worst case scenario where the rate of the community spread is greatest, the risk to our schools, our long-term care homes, hospitals is the greatest. We cannot put in class learning at risk. We can't risk widespread outbreaks in our long-term care homes. We cannot risk overwhelming our hospitals. To protect our most vulnerable, to protect what matters most, we have to get the community spread under control. Since September, following the advice of our health experts, we've taken incremental steps. We've taken decisive action to slow the spread by introducing public health restrictions, increasing testing and contact tracing and enforcement. At the same time, we've invested billions of dollars to increase capacity in our healthcare system. These steps, they've helped thanks to our collective efforts. We've saved lives, but this virus, it spreads like wildfire. And in certain parts of the province, it's spreading at an alarming rate in the community. Last week, our modeling showed that if nothing was done, we could face 6,000 new daily cases in the coming weeks, overwhelming our ICUs shortly after that. More deaths, more losses, but we can avoid this if we take further action now. So after extensive consultation with the Chief Medical Officer of Health in the Public Health Measures Table, effective Monday, November 23rd at 12.01 a.m., Toronto and Peel will be moved into lockdown. Minister Elliott will walk you through the details in a moment. My friends, I know these past few months have been extremely difficult. COVID fatigue is setting in on all of us, but I've seen the strength of our people and it's up to each and every one of us to determine our future, to write the next chapter of our history. And we all have a part to play. We must all rally around our businesses and our neighbors right now. We must support them. Our government will be there to do our part. We will spare no expense to support these businesses. Today, we're doubling our supports for businesses impacted by these measures. I've directed that up to $600 million in relief be made available immediately to help these businesses with fixed costs, including help with their hydro bills and property taxes. We will be there for these folks. Businesses can apply today for this relief and for PPE grant at ontario.ca slash COVID support. And together as a province, we can all make a difference. Please shop local. If you're shopping online, I know it can be easy just to go with Amazon. But please remember that you can buy the exact same product from a local store. Please buy from local stores. Please do your holiday shopping through curbside pickup or online stores. Support our restaurants and order takeout. And to be clear, grocery stores, pharmacies, big box stores will remain open safely with capacity limits to make sure you can access all the goods you need. So please folks, avoid panic buying right now. I'm gonna repeat that, please avoid panic buying right now. There's no need to buy more than you need for a week or two. By avoiding the panic buying, 
We can make sure that supply chains are not impacted and there's enough for everyone. I know this is difficult news today. It's not where we want to be, but my friends, I have faith. Ontario will weather through this storm together. Please look out for each other. Please stick together. Because in this darkest hour, we see what we're made of. We see what we can endure. And we will endure, we will persevere, and we will get through this. Thank you, and God bless the people of Ontario. Now I'll pass it over to Minister Elliott. Thank you, Premier, and good afternoon. Our top priority has always been the health and well-being of all Ontarians. Despite the range of public health measures and restrictions that have been in place since early October, we've seen the situation continue to worsen in regions across the province, particularly in hotspots like Peel and Toronto. It's clear more needs to be done to limit community transmission of COVID-19 so that we can keep our schools open, safeguard our health system capacity, and protect our most vulnerable. As we've seen around the world, lockdowns are a difficult but necessary step to prevent COVID-19 outbreaks and bend the curve in the number of new cases. Based on the recent data, and to protect the health and well-being of people and families in these communities, Peel Public Health and Toronto Public Health will be moving to lockdown effective Monday, November 23rd at 12.01 a.m. Measures under lockdown include no indoor private gatherings will be permitted with anyone outside your household. Individuals who live alone may have close contact with one other household. Outdoor gatherings will be limited to a maximum of 10 people. Retail stores providing non-essential services in shopping malls can operate through pickup or delivery. Non-essential storefront retail can stay open for curbside pickup or delivery only. Restaurants must close indoor dining, but may stay open for takeout and delivery. Religious services and weddings will be restricted to 10 people indoors and 10 people outdoors. Gyms, sports facilities, cinemas, casinos, museums, and personal services must close. Manufacturing, agriculture, supply chain, and most construction can continue. These measures are being put in place to prioritize the essential services we rely on. Schools will remain open. Childcare will remain open. Grocery stores, pharmacies, doctors and dentists offices, and other essential services will remain open with capacity limits. Today, we are also announcing that the following public health regions will be moving into the following levels in our COVID-19 response framework. As mentioned, Peel Public Health and Toronto Public Health regions will move into lockdown. Durham and Waterloo regions will move to the red control level. The Huron Perth, Simcoe Muskoka, Southwestern and Windsor Essex Public Health regions will move to the orange restrict level. And Chatham Kent, Eastern Ontario, Grey Bruce, Kingston, Frontenac and Lennox and Addington, Peterborough and Thunder Bay and District Public Health regions will move to the yellow protect level. These new classifications will come into effect Monday, November 23rd at 12.01 a.m. In addition, for regions in the red control level, the limit for all organized public events and social gatherings has been reduced to five people indoors and 25 people outdoors. To further protect the health and safety of those in long-term care homes, staff, essential caregivers, and support workers who provide direct care to residents in regions that are in the orange restrict level or higher will be tested weekly for COVID-19 beginning Monday as well. And to further support public health unit regions, we are making additional enforcement mechanisms available to local medical officers of health by amending Ontario Regulation 950 under the Provincial Offences Act. This amendment will allow tickets to be issued if public health measures set by the local medical office, officer of health are not followed. We will also work with the Chief Justice of Ontario to create an order establishing a set fine of $750 to any ticket issued. 
I know this is not where we wanted to be, but our government and Ontarians have risen to the challenge before, and I know we can do it again. And with the recent news about the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, there's light at the end of the tunnel. But now more than ever, everyone must follow the public health advice and adhere to restrictions in your region. We will get through this together. Thank you. And I'll now invite Dr. Williams to please come forward.